So in this video, we're going to talk about what a population is. So a population is a group of individuals of the same species that live in the same area and interbreed and are able to produce fertile offspring. So it's really important to understand that populations refer to groups of members of the same species. So population ecology then is going to be the study of those populations in relation to their environment. So that's going to include things like looking at environmental influences on density, distribution, age structure, uh, and other characteristics. So density. Uh, density is going to be the number of individuals per unit area or volume. So we can use density for both terrestrial and aquatic uh, environments. For terrestrial, it would be per unit area. And then for aquatic environments, it would be per unit um, volume of water. So then dispersion is going to be the pattern of spacing among the individuals in a population. So density is going to be how many individuals there are, and then dispersion is going to be how those individuals are spaced out. So there are uh, three main patterns of dispersion. So the first one is going to be clumped. And so when you have clumped dispersion patterns, you typically see that when um, resources are uh, not evenly distributed, in that environment and so you'll have clumping of organisms around where those resources are. So then we also have uniform dispersion and so with uniform dispersion you're going to have um, everything kind of evenly spaced out and you see this a lot with organisms that have um, aggressive uh, behavior and are very territorial and so they like to keep uh, certain distances from other members of that population or with things like trees or other plants that secrete chemicals into the soil around it to prevent other um, members of the same species from growing too closely to it. So those are situations in which you would see a uniform distribution. And then random, random distribution, it's kind of just like in this example, the seeds just randomly get blown um, and then wherever they land is where they grow. And so random, um, there's just no real reason for why they grow this way. They kind of just grow wherever. Um, and so that would be a random distribution pattern. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30 minute one on one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.